like girls doing it for themselves. Who needs a cameraman? This is awesome. Thank Obviously, you. Thanks for recognizing that. I do. Okay, first of all, it's so nice to meet you. I absolutely love so many aspects of your character. Most, mostly the badass element. Lots of woman empowerment on the show. I would love to hear from you. What is it that you feel is the most similar to your character and the most different? Personally? Yeah. Um, I think Kenzie's a lot more hot-headed than I am. I think she tends to jump into action a lot faster than I would. Um, I kind of try and talk things down before, you know, I've never been in a fight in my whole life. Um, sometimes, sometimes. Like anxiety. That, well, that once a month. Who are we talking to? Oh, okay. Um, so, like, once a month when I'm really irritated, get my drift. Um, this is so inappropriate, but I'm going to tell you this. I now. like it. This is the girl YouTube channel, so go for it. This is perfect. So that once a month, I'm like... Somebody mess with me so I have a reason to throw a punch and nobody ever does because I think they think that I'm an actual badass when I'm probably not really. Um, you know, so it's so self depreciating. Well, you know what I'm saying? I mean, listen, I, 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 I just want to protect my kids. That's kind of like the basis. And we're like, well, if somebody gets into our house and my husband's not here, will I be able to jump over that wall with a six and a half month old and a three year old? Do I toss him over? He'll be okay. If I like, so I more or less, you're a super mama, pretty much. I think I hope to be a super mom if any if needed. So I'm gonna ask you something that you a you conversation. I don't know how I got here. No, I have to ask you. You probably get asked this all the time. But a tiny aspect of your personal life is it due to the show? Considering the circumstances of how no, you I mean, met, all of it. Yeah, due to the show. I love that. I mean, no, it's awesome. I'm so it's so exciting. Um, so yeah, no, I met my husband on set. Eric, it's Eric's brother. As a lot of you might stunt know, double, right? His stunt double, but also brother, in real life. And so, um, yeah, Eric was just like, you have to meet my brother because you like guys that are healthy and work out, and he likes brunettes with big shoulders. And I was like, <laughs> strong, what? strong shoulders. I was like, what are you saying? I have that problem too. Big shoulders. I mean, it's great. It's it's strong. Actually, you know what? We just did a scene, Eric, and I just did a scene. <laughs> I wish I had my phone here. I would. Where's my phone? Somebody's got my phone. It's okay. Um, so fun to interview. <laughs> sorry. I'm like running on a million miles an hour, probably not a lot of sleep, and just chatting away. And I'm, later I'm going to be like, what did I say? Did I talk about my period? What the? Women can talk about periods. Yeah, that's what Hashtag, that's good. it's that time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, but. <laughs> um, no, I, uh, yeah, I met my husband on set through Eric and, and um, kind of had to chase him around a little bit because he's kind of introverted at first until you get to know him and then I nailed him got him and um, you know had two children what are the dynamics though you have the kids in the trailer your hubby's stunt double your brother-in-law's a love interest it's a whole family ordeal like what do the kids think I don't know that the kids understand anything yet I mean they've seen the show but I would never I mean my son's three and my daughter's six and a half months and um, and actually um, Eric's kids are exactly the same age um, so I actually feel sorry for Eric because when Sarah was pregnant, I was pregnant, so he would go home and deal with a pregnant woman and then have to come to work and deal with a pregnant woman. So he was kind of, he didn't have a choice but to just stay cool. Okay, I have one more question for you. What I love about this season is how it's shined a light on mental health awareness, especially with your character's storyline. What do you hope that audiences learn from that? Because I think it's a really big deal to have such a mainstream show talking about right. these issues. Yeah. Um, I think that the hardest thing to do, um, and mind you, this is only from my research and from imagining what it would feel like. So I'm sorry if I'm misinterpreting or, or saying something that other people have not felt before who have actually gone through certain experiences. Um, I think it's really hard to ask for help. Um, and what I would like people to take away from this is that it's okay to ask for help. Because it's really hard to do certain things on your own. I mean, the power and the need and the want has to come from you. But it's okay to have somebody hold your hand through the beginning of it until you feel like you can get back on your feet, literally speaking. Um, that's a great message. So, yeah, so that's, that's what I took away from the experience of playing this part. You are so fun to interview. I love how candid you are. That's so rare in actresses these days. <laughs> One of our guest actors, John Jackson, who played Chedwig in on Jag, who's now um, kind of joining us for a couple of episodes here and there, he, he's nicknamed me Shameless. I love so, it. Keep with it. Thank you so wow. much. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Oh, you're so sweet.